Hi everyone and welcome to this video where I'll show you how to create a dividend discount model to value a stock in Excel. The dividend discount model is a present value model for valuing stock which is based on the dividends paid by a company. Because dividends are less volatile than earnings, this may make the DDM less sensitive to short-run fluctuations in the inputs than other models. Generally, this model is most suitable when a company is dividend paying and the company's dividend policy is related to its profitability. Therefore, it's typically better suited for mature companies as they tend to display these characteristics. All else equal, a company with higher dividends should be associated with higher valuations. In our example, we're valuing a fictitious company and we have the following assumptions. The required return on equity is 8%. The current dividend paid at time t equals 0 is 3. We're using a three-stage dividend discount model. In other words, dividend growth rates are split into three periods. For the next two years, we expect dividends to grow by 12%. For the following five years, we expect them to grow by 10% and thereafter by 3%. The current share price is $100 and we will look to compare it with the share price generated by the dividend discount model. To create our model, we start by inputting the current value of the dividend given, which is 3. Since this is the current year, the present value is the same figure. Next, looking at year 1. Here we take the value in the current year and multiply this by 1 plus the first growth rate. We can add absolute references to ensure this value remains static. We can then drag this one cell down. Then for the year after, we can adjust by the next growth rate instead. So we simply change the value of the growth multiplier. We can then drag this down to year 7 as it's the dividend growth rate for the next 5 years. Then for year 7, we need to incorporate the Gordon growth model as we assume that the dividends are growing indefinitely at a constant rate thereafter. Here we can take the previous year dividends and multiply it by 1 plus the dividend growth rates thereafter divided by the capitalization rate. Before we divide, let's add brackets here. And the capitalization rate is the difference between the required return on equity and the dividend growth rate. We can then close brackets and click enter. This gives us an estimation of the terminal value of the stock, which is an important part of the dividend discount model. We then need to discount the values in column F back to the present value. To do this, we first need to calculate the discount factor. This is 1 divided by 1 plus the required return on equity to the power of n, in other words, the number of years. Once again, we can add absolute references here to ensure it remains static as we drag it down. The present value is then simply the value in column F multiplied by the discount factor in column G. We can then calculate the implied share price by summing all of the individual present values. Given these assumptions, the model indicates a fair price of $96 which is below the current stock price. Therefore, we can say that the current share price is overvalued as our model predicts that it will converge towards the fair price. We can make this dynamic using a formula.
when we change one of the assumptions or inputs like this, you can see that the implied share price updates and so does the outcome. As shown, the terminal value captures a large portion of total value, which contrasts with the residual income model, for example, where the current book value captures the largest portion of total value typically. The key when using every model is the quality of your forecasts. Therefore, the art of forecasting is really about deriving these assumptions. So that's how you can create a dividend discount model in Excel to value a stock. However, make sure to not rely on only one model and supplement your valuation with additional analysis. Please give this video a thumbs up if you found it useful and subscribe to the Excel Hub for future Excel tutorials, techniques and examples.